Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, please leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you see in my comment section with a picture of me and a variation of my name, please know that that garbage is not me. That is a scammer. If you do not see a check mark beside my name, rest assured, it is not me. Y'all, I took yesterday off. It was Sunday and I wanted to go to church and I also wanted to spend the day with my granddaughter. So I took yesterday off. But if you didn't see Saturday's video, I'm going to link it at the bottom of this video. At the end of this video, please go back and watch it if you didn't see it. There's a lot of good stuff in that. I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot also. <clears throat> well, y'all, it's another week. It's another Monday. So what's going to be new this week? I hope something happens this week, but these weeks are passing by fast, and nothing is getting done. So if this week is a replay of any past weeks, they won't get much done, but a lot of finger pointing and talking. But we can hope and pray, right? Y'all, I keep seeing stuff on YouTube like important $1,400 stimulus checks. Then I seen $1,400 surprise ch stimulus checks. Then I seen $2,400 a month. Y'all, these come from the same person. Person makes four videos a day when there's nothing happening. But he is not the only one doing this. There's a lot of people out there doing it. Y'all, if they say a stimulus check of any kind in the thumbnail right now, it's clickbait. Don't click on that. Don't let them lie to you and get paid for it. Because I'm not making no secrets. YouTubers gets paid for making these videos. And this person that I'm talking about makes about $2,000 a day. So don't click on these videos that says stimulus check because right now there is no stimulus check at all. Believe me, when there's a chance for a stimulus check or there is a stimulus check coming, I will be on here and I will tell you about it. And I'm sure David over at the TEC show will tell you about it. And Stephen Gardner will tell you about it. But until we say there's one coming or there potential good chance for one, don't believe those other people. Someone on my uh, comments said that Joe Manchin is against helping the American people with a child tax credit. I'm going to have to disagree with that. It may look that way, but I'm going to have to disagree with it. Uh, what he is saying is who will get this uh, child tax credit if they have one. And he don't want rich people to get it because they don't need it. This child tax credit payments is meant to help the people that needs help right now. Now, he can't stop you from getting the child tax credit. You will get the child tax credit. But he's wanting the people that's going to get these payments now to really need it. He don't want rich people to get it. Whether they bring it back or not, you will get it on your income tax. And you say, well, I don't fill out income tax. I don't have income. Go ahead and fill out the easy form. That's all you need to do. They need your information. Fill out the tax form anyway so, they, so they'll so they know your situation and they'll know to send that child tax credit to you. This is an advance. It's not free money or nothing like that. You can get it. All they need is your information. It's a child tax credit. It is not free money. But if you need it, you will get it. It's just a matter of when will you get it. The stock market. Y'all, I don't pretend to know a lot about investing in the stock markets. I'm not rich enough to gamble my money like that. What money I have, I need. So I do not gamble in the stock market. But I want to talk just a little bit of what I'm seeing in the stock market right now. Tesla stock, 
they're all over the place. They're up a little bit. They're down a lot. They're up. They're down. They're up. People, that is all about Tesla stock. They're going crazy. And I just can't help but think all of this talk that Joe Biden is doing about electric cars and the Green Deal. Is that turning people off of the idea of Tesla because it's an electric car? Are they getting are they getting upset with Joe Biden and in reality it's hurting Tesla stock? I'm just wondering. I don't really know that much about how stocks work. But y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you think Joe Biden's agenda for this Green New Deal is hurting Tesla stock? I kind of think it is. Y'all, thank you all so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Please leave your comments below what you think about all of this garbage that we're going through right now. Hopefully, this is a new week. So hopefully, they'll get something done. Okay, I want to talk, talk about something now that's not really about stimulus or politics or in a way, I guess you could say it is. But a lot of people right now going through a lot of bad times, they don't think that their life has any meaning. They think their life is over, that it will never get back to feeling like they're alive again. People don't know the greatness that they're, they're giving the world right now. People think that their life has no meaning. Well, let me tell you. Before your parents had a twinkle in their eye, before they even thought that they was going to ever conceive and have a child, Jesus Christ knew you. He knew every hair that was going to be on your head. Before Jesus, before God formed the earth, he already knew it was going to be a you. He already knew you. And he created you in the image of him. And I don't know if y'all heard it or not, but God is great. So that means you're great. If God created you in the image of him. You may not see none of the greatness that you're doing in your human eyes because you're here in it every day you don't see the greatness all you see is man I'm going through another day of suffering with no money worrying not knowing what I'm going to do taking care of this family member this is all my life is I'm so tired of the same thing every day my life has to have more than this Wherever you're at in life, that's where you're supposed to be. God had already planned you before he planned the earth. And if he planned you that long ago, nothing you're going to do is going to change it. So therefore, that means you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You say, well, I don't see the greatness in what I'm doing. I feel numb inside. I feel dead inside. That's because you're seeing it with human eyes. People, I mean, your life may not be the one that's supposed to be in the spotlight greatness. I'm Look at me how great I am. You may not be the one that that's supposed to be. But trust me, you are where you're supposed to be. But now, the people that sees what you're doing, the great works that you're doing, the sacrifices that you're making for other people, they see it. And it builds them up, letting them know that there is good people in the world. And it's showing them what they should strive to be. So even though you're not doing nothing but helping other people, that is what you're called to do. That is what you're supposed to do. So you're, you're doing that. You think it's mundane work, but it is what God chose you to do. He chose you because he knows that you could do it. He chose other people to do jobs that he knew that they could do. But other people that sees you, you're building them up. 
and you what you're doing may catapult what they're doing they may be the one that's supposed to be worldly great that everybody sees the big changes that they make in the world they may be the one and what you're doing lets them know that they are good people in the world and it gives them encouragement to do better so yeah you're helping people in your daily life sacrificing your own life for them but in return you don't know it you're building somebody else up for their greatness so don't ever think that your life has no meaning your life has great meaning and like i said before you was formed in the image of god god is great and so are you just trust in god don't try to fight it go with the flow whatever god wants you to do obey it and obey it with great humi humility be happy that he chose you i mean even to the people that's really bad troubled uh like in and out of jail bad troubled people their life has meaning because other people sees what they're doing and the consequences that they're paying for the things that they're doing well these people don't want to do that so these people are learning from their hardship god had this plan he's using their hardship to teach these people so they can go on their journey to greatness. Y'all, it don't matter what you do in life. When we get to heaven, we're all going to be great. We're going to be disease free. People suffer from cancer. They will be 100% cancer free. They will never again know what pain feels like. People that suffer mental problems. They will have clear mind, clear thought. People that are crippled, they'll be able to run the laps around the buildings. Don't ever think your life has no meaning. It does. And you will get your reward. God promised that. He promised you a mansion in heaven. He's preparing it. Just trust in Him. Y'all, I love you all. Please say a prayer for our country, say a prayer for our world, say a prayer for our leaders that they will start leading and helping the people. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. I love you all. Until tomorrow. Ciao.